this Saturday, when you see Coach Fickle on the sidelines celebrating a great play, his wife Amy hurry up, hurry up, buttercup. Hurry up. All right, buckle up. is taking care of most, if not all, of their kids, getting them to football games, volleyball, whatever and wherever they need to go. Well, it's not any different than any other mom, probably. I just do most of it by myself. <laughs> and there's six of them. Yes, she said six. Walk me through all these kids. My youngest twins just finished their football season last weekend. My oldest twins are in their football playoffs Saturday. My daughter is in her volleyball districts Saturday. And then my oldest is, you know, on the football team at UC. Helmets, helmets, cleats, shoes, Halloween costumes, and then candy, lots of candy. The day I visited with Amy, she had just finished Bible study, then hopped in the car to get the kids from school. All right, so we got all your stuff in the back, so we can leave straight from Daddy's office to go down. One minute to go down to uh, practice. Come back here, I'll help you get your stuff on. She got the kids in their costumes in a downpour. Come on, hurry up. All right, what do you need help with? From schoolboy to a ninja. Which one are you? This is number eight. Get those on. We've done this a few times, haven't we? Yep. Ta-da! Good to go. All right, head on in with that. And stopped at UC's practice to hand out Halloween candy to the team. And bonus, she got to see her oldest son and her husband. You know, she has seven kids, six real ones, and me, she calls the seventh. So she's uh, she's got a lot in her hands. You're running this show. Yeah, and I don't mind. I, I just kind of get it done here because he's got a lot. He's got a lot on his plate. So that's kind of just how we work. It means Amy is representing both of them at most kids games. So you kind of have to be that little bit of a dad too because there isn't a dad there watching. In season, Amy says the kids don't get to see their dad a lot. They might see him before bed on Wednesday night um, and maybe Thursday night. But their family motto is, it's about quality, not quantity. And this family is a team. To, to have you know, our kids be able to do all the things that they do, for her to be able to handle it in the best way, and you know, knowing that I'm not going to be much of a help in, in a lot of things, um, not everybody could do that, not everybody could handle that. You need to clone yourself. Oh, that would be great. <laughs> it would be scary, but it would be great. All right, by the way, the day we were there, we left. She then left to take her older twins to practice, pick up her daughter at another school from volleyball, mm -hmm. and then the list goes on and on. They had homework to do. They had to right. eat something at yeah, some point at in that night. Point. It just. Right. But she says she knew she was getting into. She loves her life, and she loves Cincinnati, by the way.